Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, let's talk about proper ER tool assembly to get the best results. What's it look like? And what kind of results can you expect? So let's move over to the Torco block and start our assembly. We've moved over to our Torco block and let's go through the proper assembly of an ER tool holder and uh, see what that looks like. So let's start off with our tool holder, Cat40 tool holder. Let's go ahead and put it into our Torco block. So we are going to start off with our assembly of our pull stud. Now let's grab our Torco block ring, ER32, and on the back side I have the settings for the pull studs. So I can do that. Let's set the reference to 40. Take our pull stud, hand tighten this, then we're going to go ahead and torque that down. Now normally I would suggest putting on some blue Loctite to make sure that we secure that uh, or glue that into place properly. So let's go ahead and tighten our pull stud. And that's all it takes to tighten the pull stud. It is now on there and ready to be used. So let's focus on the working end now. Now to get the most out of your ER assembly, you obviously want it to be clean. So give it a quick visual inspection. Are the threads clean? Is it clean in the collet cavity? Well, what do I do if it's not? Well, if the threads aren't clean, something as simple as a simple nylon brush can be used to brush out debris from the threads to make sure you get a good mating surface. So very highly recommendable to have a nylon brush somewhere near your assembly process that you can knock chips away or any debris that gets caught in the threads. As far as wiping out the collet cavity, just a simple rag can be used for that. Nothing special, just a rag, wipe it out, make sure there's nothing sticking to the sides that's going to interfere with your ER assembly. Now let's go ahead and do our ER assembly and torque that down. So starting with your ER collet, give it a good visual inspection. Is there any damage on the outside, any marks, grooves, rust, anything that would make this collet not perform? If by any chance you happen to look and you see something stuck in the slots, you can use a simple air blow off to blow it out. You can use that nylon brush you had for the threads or you can just grab a scale and knock anything that's inside the slots out of the way, making it nice and simple and a clean system. Go ahead and clean the collet. You can use something like alcohol if you would prefer to clean the entire collet. It gets all the grease and debris off of it. And go ahead and take a look at your ER nut. Same thing with the nut. You can take that nylon brush clean the threads, make sure the mating surfaces are clean and free of debris. Once you've looked, it's ready for assembly. Go ahead and snap your collet in, put that into your tool holder. In this case, we're just using a pin for our assembly. Go ahead and put the pin in place. I'm going to hand tighten that. Then I'm going to flip my ring over for ER32. I'm going to set my scale for 100 foot-pounds and I'm going to tighten my tool holder. Now the big question right now is how good is this assembly? So let's move over to our zero spindle and see how well we did. We've moved over to our zero spindle. We have our indicator set up. We have our meter running. Let's see how we did on this assembly after making sure everything was clean and torqued properly. So we'll give it a quick TIR measurement. Looks like we are hanging right around that three micron total range. So really, really good ER assembly just by following the basic rules of cleanliness and a quick inspection before you put it all together.